Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you how to make concrete planters where each one is unique and you can customize them to your own style. Let's begin. I first started by sneaking into our bathroom closet and grabbing some old towels. I next laid out some plastic because I did not want the concrete to be glued to our driveway. I chose Quickrete 5000 because of its high early strength. I also decided to wear some gloves because the ingredients in concrete can sometimes irritate bare skin. So I poured about one third of the bag into a five gallon bucket and added some water for mixing. Now if you've ever tried to mix concrete this way, you know it is a challenge. Much of the mix likes to stick to the bottom and a person can get quite a workout from trying to combine the two. So after several minutes of mixing, I reached about the consistency to pour concrete. But I did not know this was still way too thick for adding a towel. So I mixed in some more water until I reached almost a soupy consistency. I then reintroduced the towel and made sure to coat it completely with as much concrete as it would hold. I next draped it over a 5 gallon bucket and centered it up as much as possible. Fortunately this concrete has about a 10 hour work time, so if you plan to do this, you have plenty of time to fix any unevenness. I next grabbed a small planting pot and repeated the process with a shop towel. At this point there was a bunch of gravel remaining on the surface of the concrete in the bucket. So I scraped it out in hopes there would still be enough mixture left in the bottom. I then added some more water, mixed it well, and coated one more shop towel. At this point I decided I wanted to try a square shaped planter. So I went to my shop and pulled out some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe and assembled a square shape from the frame that stood around 2 feet tall. This would allow the bottom to be square and the sides to be fully vertical. So I mixed up another batch of concrete, coated the next towel, and carefully placed it over the PVC stand. I did notice that this towel had a lot more texture and it really showed through the concrete. I then got the idea to try this concept over a small trash can for a different shape, but this time I used two separate hand towels. I really wanted to know if the concrete would be strong enough to hold both of these towels together after it dried. I even added some extra mixture to the bottom and side, but much of this separated and fell off later. After I finished, I left everything alone for about three days for it to dry. Now I've given all these about three days to dry, they are very hard to the touch, so we're going to try and separate these and see how they look. Now the small plastic pots were easy to flex away from the shell and came out relatively easily. But the others were more of a challenge. I think the trash can was creating a vacuum between itself and the concrete, so I had to gently pull the edges to get it to separate. With the bucket, the towel had conformed itself around the metal handle and the plastic ridges, making it a completely different type of challenge. And when it came to the PVC frame, I was not able to remove the top section without breaking the concrete structure. So I just pulled out the legs and left it. It will not hurt the plants anyway. Now all these plant holders that were touching the ground, they have this like film or, or, or almost like a, a slag built up where they were resting on the ground. So I'm gonna take a brush and a pick. We're gonna carefully go at this, real careful not to damage it, but see how much of this I can remove and see how much of beauty will actually show. So I carefully started to pick and brush away most of this debris. But I noticed that some of the fabric started to show from the towels. So caution was needed. But once they were cleared, they looked great. I then ran to the store for a few plants to try out. But first, I needed to drill some holes in the bottom of each concrete planter. Make sure to use an old drill bit because this will certainly start to dull the bit. I then added some soil to each planter and carefully added each plant. I did find these to be challenging because it was sometimes hard to see around the sides to make sure there was enough soil. Also, some of the edges were sharp and could cause injury. But once they were in place, these potters reminded me of something that might be seen in an old fairy tale castle. And I loved them. Now, if you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. I also have some other videos right here that you might enjoy that go along with our backyard projects. So make sure you check those out.